Road lighting design is another fascinating field for newbie civil engineers. Why road lighting is required? Road lights are provided to illuminate the road and associated infrastructure, such as footway, cycle track, controlled and controlled crossings, etc. so that all road users can safely travel in dark hours. Road light cannot entirely replicate the same daylight, but road lighting design helps designers to develop a lighting model to eliminate dark spots, provide a clear view of the road and associated infrastructure and provide a desirable minimum illumination for all road users. Following are the key roles that road lights play. Eliminate the dark spots and illuminate the road and associated infrastructure. Illuminated road sign and ad signs assist drivers to make informed decisions. Minimize the risk of accidents in dark hours. Discourage vandalism and crime in dark hours and low traffic environments. Key factor to consider for street lighting design. Uniform illumination. The position of lighting columns and the level of illumination from each column should be made consistent, so the drivers and other road users view a uniform level of brightness along the road. Uneven illumination can generate a blind spot for drivers and pose a severe road user risk, limit the glare. A sudden glare disability glare, and or a discomfort glare create a visual obstruction to the drivers and may lead to a serious road accident. Disability glare creates a black when the driver suddenly sees the light and move the eyes away from it. That's why it is very important to minimize the suddenly illuminated spots and sudden dark spots along the road. Discomfort glare doesn't come from sudden illumination. It comes uneven illumination, which means when there are spots where a very high level of illumination or bright spots are provided and then, it is combined with a low level of illumination spots. This creates a blurred image and low, illuminated object because the eyelid fails to absorb the lower, illuminated object immediately after seeing a higher illuminated object. Adequate contrast sensitivity. Illumination makes roads and associated infrastructure brighter as compared to the dark surrounding. It works very well along rural highways, but in the case of urban streets, dark surroundings are replaced by buildings and flashy glass office buildings. As a result, the contrast level goes down and drivers don't receive that level of contrast illumination. Key Steps of Road Lighting Design Illumination Levels Illumination level depends on the point where it is measured, the height of that point from the road and the angular position of the lamp. EP equals I cos 2 Y slash H2 where EP equals, illimitation at a point H equals, height of that point Y equals angle of illumination I equals intensity of illumination. Angle of luminaire. Luminaire angles are split into two categories. Throw angle. The throw angle is measured from the lamp along the road as shown in the picture. Spread angle. The spread angle is measured from the lamp across the road as shown in the picture. Variation of street lighting with type of road. Road lighting varies with the road types. This means, for a high-speed motorway, road lightings are designed considering a different set of constraints than a low-speed road. Constraints of the high-speed road for road lighting design High-speed and high-traffic volume Hard central median such as concrete barrier or steel barrier Access and exit through grade separated junction only Constraints of low-speed urban road lighting design Low-speed traffic environment Traffic calming places Heavy pedestrian volume On-street parking Taxi bays and frequent bus stops High street shopping areas. The constraint of low speed traffic in residential environment. Low speed residential roads. Moderate pedestrian movement. Bus stops with or without bays. School zones with traffic measures. Lighting pole arrangement over the column. Single sided column. For low speed urban single carriageway roads, single sided columns with frequent intervals 8 minus 10 meters are provided. The spacing between poles is made consistent to provide uniform illumination. Double-sided column. Double-sided columns are used for a dual carriageway road where lighting poles are placed at the central median. Road illumination calculation process. Road illumination is calculated using Lumens method, E equals an X N X Q X M F X L slash aware equals road surface area L equals illumination level N equals number of lantern 1 for lighting columns placed on one side, 2 for both side of a carriageway, N equals number of lanterns in a lighting column 1 for single sided and 2 for double sided lanterns, Q equals utilization coefficient. Road lighting design softwares. 
There are many robust lighting design softwares to develop road lighting models and they come with a variety of options to address site conditions, constraints, and many other factors. Use of BIM in street light design. BIM model provides a huge benefit when it comes to quality and accuracy of the design model and for lighting model, it adds further benefit, such as linking to GIS geographic information system, of power cables, voltage drops, photometric data and other parameters to the main control system for maintenance purposes. Hope this video gives you some clarity on road lighting design. Please feel free to like, share and comment.